quite a few people in here already. How's everyone doing today? Quite a few people in here. And there is a lot of chat. I am scrolling through to load everyone that's already in here and said hi. So I've been uh, going through and getting some traits unlocked and all that um, for the monitor here because I, I don't have everything on my main character to, uh, to get like a full carrier build set up, but my SOB character uh, from way back does have quite a few of the pet boosting traits. So I've been sitting here debating on what way I want to go with this ship. Um, I will tell you right off the bat, I am not going to go beam overload on this. I will be going cannon scatter volley. So it'll probably be more, uh, more skewed towards like a do psi type setup. Yeah, but Ranger, you had, looked like you had a couple of nannies in there at least. So it wasn't like a full typical channel run. No ERL. I have the bridge officers on this are completely screwed right now. I basically just swapped to the ship and you know how it is when you swap ships, it like loads in all the random crap you have on your bridge officers. Oh, it turns out I don't even have miracle worker trained on that one or that one. I foresee me needing to go get a manual quick. A build. Yeah, so I'm thinking I was thinking of going through and maybe doing a, a bit of a side focus. Also trying to get a bunch of SI procs on the build. And I came up with something like this before the stream. Um, but I'm thinking I don't know if I want to go the SIA route because that's going to eat up another trade slot. And I think I'm just going to go do Psy with a bunch of uncons and then just a bunch of pep boosting consoles. Yeah, the Hydra console and trade are definitely going on this build. I just leveled the Hydra up on this character. Uh, not just full EPG, no. The, the issue, I mean, we, we've all talked about this before, and there's already been quite a bit of chat in the, the chat here about the, the ships not having a secondary deflector, and that, that very much is a limiting factor. I could still go and use SIA, use a bunch of the SIA procs to get a ton of damage out of it, but I just, I feel like that might not be, if I'm trying to go in and also boost up pets quite a bit with a bunch of the pet boosting traits, that may not be very, very effective. I mean, I probably just want up the trade slots for it. Yeah, um, I've seen some numbers from the Hydra console. I would not be surprised if that console gets tuned also at some point. Um, I don't want to get too far into that because what game freaks was saying is that might be a bit of an exploit but that the hydra console may also be having a, a bit of overperforming issues no exceed rated limits terrible j no i'm gonna go csv so i'll i'll probably go like csv2 beta and then here I could do a distributed targeting one or a, ba a beam overload one. Um, and the beam overload one, even if I don't have any beams on, that would still work as a trigger for like my comp engines. And I think there's a couple of uh, pet boosting traits that are boosted or that are triggered by like beam overload. I might do that, Mark to Chief, but. Right now, it looks like I need to swap characters quick and grab some EC because I need to grab a uh, a Merrick worker off manual here. I know, Sark. I was initially going to do this build on casual, but 
SOB just has so many of the pet boosting traits. Like that character's got scramble fighters. It's got a gem carrier, so it's got um that pet boosting trait off that. So your guy's gone. Quick way to search for these bridge officer manual qualifications is just go to the training manual category for the specialization you're looking for and just search qualification or QUAL is enough and that'll bring up the uh, qualification manuals for you. Hello, Voyager. I stick. Yeah, so I can I can go take a look at the skins here. I gotta beam down and grab this manual anyways. PvP cheese. You know, every time I think about even like every time I get just a, a little bit of a thought of maybe I should try PvP again. I go and I look at footage of some recent recent PvP gameplay and it's just people lagging all over the place. Like I, I watched Brett's video the other day, uh part of it, and just like, I don't miss dealing with the lag. The the STO servers just have never been good for that type of play. And for me, I've been getting my PvP fix out of World of Warships. Um, let's see if the if I can go down to ground now. Yeah, PvP is much more messy than it used to be. Yeah, that that's a good question too, Merkstar. Yeah, I still play World of Warships. Well, I, I play a submarine, so... Uh, that's why I have no issue with it, Ranger. Okay, what was I doing? I was going to go look at the customization options here. So this ship, like, you can use any of the other Nebula skins on it. The, the one, it, 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 it comes out of the box looking like this. It's got this really nice, like, hangar bay up in the uh, the mission pod there. Let's hit the randomizer button. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Give me some terrible combos there. Yeah, there are submarines in World of Warships now. They do have mirror versions for some of the other uh, Nebula versions or some of the other skins. I think some of these skins are locked to you buying the entire 13th bundle, though, so let's keep that in mind. AR, thank you for the membership. I think for, for me here, I'm just going to go with the standard Nebula visual i'm gonna change the the saucer over to the sutherland because i don't like that cutout at the front and then i'm gonna change the material over to type 8b yeah that looks pretty good okay i'm gonna go with that gotta go classic nebula uh I need to grab, or I already grabbed that manual. I need to train this bridge officer now. Yeah, PvP can be a bit expensive. But, I mean, if it's something you want to get into, there are groups out there that are always trying to to get more people involved in the pvp scene and they they like helping uh train pl players up and all that to get them involved 
So let's see. How do I want to build the bridge officer setup on this thing? I don't I'm not gonna go the SIA route today. Just cause just don't don't want I don't think I'm gonna have room trait wise. So I'm probably gonna go and focus on uncons. Let's go, what is it? Jam sensors one. And do narrow sensor bands too, and then you guys said mixed arm and synergy too. I could do that. Or I could do um like a destabilizing resonance beam to debuff. But hoping for a torpedo nebula. Um the the setup on this ship, I, I do not like setting up torp boats anymore on ships that do not have command. Because it's it's such a as soon as you remove command off from a torp boat and it's not in a like an environment where you have teammates giving you the uh, CF, it's really, really quite brutal. So I can do emergency powered weapons three if I wanted. And then I can do Heisenberg amplifier one. So that'll give me at least a couple more uncons. Yeah, well, there, there are some simulators out there, but yeah, I get what you're saying, Patrick. Dari has a gun. Real men use beam overload. I'll have beam overload on with this. I, I guess I can do a single Omni aft just to get the mixed arm and synergy, but I'm not going to go full beam overload. I think you should keep SIA on if you still have five anomalies on your build. That's probably a fair point. Admiral X, that, that's probably a fair point. Yeah, we could just go with that and call that a day, and then I don't have to worry about the beam overload. Yeah, SA should be stronger than the, the weakest uh, pet trait. Yeah, low bro, I agree. Uh, Stuka, I don't think... I, I mean, I haven't noticed really any impact. Maybe in PvP it's helped a little bit. I, I know PvPers generally use Merge Power to Shields a bit more than PvE players do. Um, RSP? I mean, the RSP change is really good, but I, I haven't... I honestly haven't flown a tank in the time since that change went live, so I can't really comment too much there. Voyager, is there any way of getting a Voth mech suit in the game? <sighs> Terrible Voyager. Looking at the ship, just admit that EPG is OP. I'm going to use Spore, switch the tractor beam to TBR. I could do that. Is, T is TBR even a proc for that? I don't think it is. I mean, TBR would fit the ship a bit better, but... Just go with this for right now, and we'll take a look at the traits and see how it goes. Okay. Gravwell 3, Subspace Vortex 3, and here, so you want me to do TBR, I can do that for you, very cold in space, so I'm going to be dropping the, the narrow sensor bands then, I'll go Photonic Officer here, and I guess Jam Sensors. Gotcha. I, you gotta remember, for me with the EPG stuff, it's not something that I mess around with a ton, so. Metric and timeline collapse. Okay, and if I'm doing that, 
I can go just go with distributed targeting then. Okay. I mean, PV, PVE builds, it's still good to, to like work on improving a PVE build because you just get through the content faster and you want to have a strong PVE build because you want to be able to carry weaker teams. I mean, you have to keep in mind in STO, the average player is doing like 10, like under 10k DPS. So you want to have a build that can compensate for that and carry your team through the content. I also am remembering that I need to load up my current set of keybinds to this character. Oh. At wise, I am going to do the Valkyrie fighters, but I do not currently have any on me. So I'm going to grab some elite ones from my fleet. Um, and something that I've seen people talking about recently is just buying the advanced pets. I, I don't think it's worth buying advanced pets personally. I think if you are going to spend lithium on getting some hanger pets, I think it would be more efficient for you to just go and get the fleet ones. The fleet ones are going to be better. Yeah, that was a really fast fleet map load. I didn't even think about that, but that was that was fast. It's crazy fast. Pretty sure hell's frozen over. That's like the fastest fleet map load I think I've ever had. Okay, so this ship does have access or does unlock the Terran version of the Valkyrie fighters. Um, these are exactly the same as the normal Valkyrie fighters, just a different name. I think the visuals are even the same. So I'm going to grab two pairs of these. Actually, I'll grab one of those and do I have the other ones on this character. I don't. OK, I'll just grab two of these. Yeah, so so for me, there's 100K fleet credits and then like 38 and a half K deal, I think it was. Worlds falling apart. I know, Jay. Yeah, some, but it just it feels off having uh, that load that fast. Okay, for the set that I'm running here. Um, I'm not too worried about the the Revo set today. I think I'm going to go just with a more basic layout. Just go colony deflector, comp engines, and then just go core and shield. Kathy, thank you for the $2. Very much appreciated. Kale is trading me on a fleet map. Trapping. I got out of the map really fast. That's really surprising. I am going to go with, I need to go with a, like a phaser cannon set up here. Cause I'm going to be running the Hydra console on this. So 
I'm gonna run the Terran cannon. I guess the Where's my wide arc? Gonna have the wide arc phase cannons on, and then for the last one here, I think I'm gonna do probably the quads. Probably not. The Revo set. Like Revo set is really nice. I guess if I am doing SIA, I probably should do that. So for reference, the Revo set uh will give you a significant boost to your exotic abilities. Specifically, it gives you a lot of crit severity with them, so I guess I probably should just go and do that. Yeah. Yeah, I can do... So I'm going to do this as like a do sign that we're going to have for the science side. We're going to have SIA active. Second here. So the Gamma Rep turret. There is Trilithium. And for the last one... For the last one... Just use this heavy biomolecular run. Yeah. Yeah, it gives a small amount of Starship weapon amplification. And then this is going to be a phaser setup, so... A bunch of locators. You want me to drop the Revo or the the Disco Shield to run the Revo one instead? See this this EPG stuff is not something I really do too much to be honest. But that's a that's a good point. Thank you for bringing that up. Yeah, I'm gonna have Swarmer Matrix on, and the Hydra console. The Hydra console I've already forgotten the name of, but there it is. I'm going to drop the console that comes with this ship for now. Um, I just don't think I'm going to get too much out of it. Also, one of my phaser consoles dropped off there. Uh, Sark, honestly, I don't remember. They, they fixed the, the infiltrator bridge officers stacking with each other, but I don't know if they fixed the captain trait. Biomolecular turret is breaking your immersion. Sorry. Is SIA, is that radiation damage? Because isn't that two piece actually uh, buff radiation damage a little bit? It's boring. Anomalies. Oh, it's electrical damage. Okay. This is where it gets hard with uh, these pet builds too. Like trying to do two a ton of different things on a build. Like we need more uh, we need more starship trade slots because if I'm trying to do the size stuff, still do stuff with cannons and then also boost the pets, there's just not a ton of traits that I can drop here. Because I need to keep emergency weapon cycle on and withering barrage for my weapons. I need sad to for the debuff that provides and also for the buff that provides for the pets which is massive tearing goodbye is 15 percent crit chance then ruin of our enemies is that's just a really big damage boost which is going to benefit on an aoe build like this so i don't even know if i want to run I, I don't even have ud on here yet Yeah. Have I... Has anyone ever tested the Voth Rampart trait? I, you know, I have that on my other character, but I, I don't think I ever actually tested the trait. Yeah, so SI is going to be the only... Only, uh... Yeah, we'll 
Well, you can use those ox cannons on the ship, I believe. I think they changed that, didn't they? Like a bunch of other ships can use them. Gotta look that up. It's been a while. Or one of you can type that in chat. I don't, I guess I just don't have any on this character. Yeah, this this is why you don't usually branch out and try to do too many things on a ship, is you just don't have the, the trait room to support it all. Here, I will go. John, thank you for the sub. Oh, yeah, and I just got that trait, too. Oof. Goodbye. Do I want to drop Ruin or, or Terran? See, this is the issue we start to run into. I'm on new ROM somewhere. Yeah, because I just unlocked... I just unlocked that trait too, strike wing or strike group command authority. Yeah, I really do need to put that on. I, I so I did this build on this character thinking, you know, I, I, I have all these carrier boosting traits over on this character. But the issue is when you actually look at the traits, you just don't have room for them. Like sad is that that can you can fit that in. But you want to put like strike group on scramble fighters and all those you're, you're really taken away from the rest of your build at that point okay Let's see what else i can do here i need to put particle manipulator on i already know that how many uncon procs do i have Of like two. I'll leave that on for now. Yeah, I'll just go with this for now. It's not the most optimal, but it'll work. And shield pen, I'm going to drop for. Let's go controlled countermeasures because I am going to have things grouped up quite a bit. Just call that a day. Console wise, I'm going to put bioneural on, get that crit severity. What am I at here? I'm at like 60% crit severity already, or crit chance, and then 218 severity. Gotcha, Jay. Yeah, I've looked at some of those calculators before. I think we had one pinned on the builds Discord. Um, but it's been a little bit since I looked at it. The reason that the the Quasion Assault Craft console is on is I was going to use that as something to get the tier two boost from the Hydra trait. Um I think that was listed on here. I may have just misread it, but I'll have that on to hopefully buff my uh, my pets a little bit more. I'm going to put Tachyon Net Drones on just because I'm going to have things grouped up. So whatever I have grouped up is going to be really, really debuffed. I'm going to put DPRM on for survivability. Then for the last console here, I know this that this is a size ship, but it's not really set up very well for for like pure size stuff. I know. Let's see, what do I want to go here? I don't have, um, I don't have UD on, so that's why I don't have the phase lance on right this moment.
Ya. Demidar, Vanguard, Carrier. I don't remember what that console is. Let me take a look. That console can be used on anything. That's the linked command matrix. I think I have that ship. Our Vanguard carrier, yeah. Oh, I haven't. I never leveled it up on my uh, my Gem Hadar character, so I don't have access to it on my uh, my other characters. Unfortunate. Okay, I'm realizing though that I have the Trilithium turret on, so I can go for that two piece there. It's a bit of a mess build wise, but uh, it should hopefully work. How are my power levels? With this being a 3-3, I don't mind turning my weapons down a little bit. With emergency power to weapons, that should compensate. And the ox power, I'd probably bump that up just a smidge more. I go to 90 there. That should be fine. Yeah, I haven't level 6 mastered that gem ship yet. Time for a patrol. Yep, got to set up the the tray here, which everyone, you know, it's our favorite thing, right? Patrol and then Borg TFOs, yeah. We'll be doing some TFOs, don't you worry. But setting up the tray, I guess I can move this over so you guys can see it. I think my head is blocking it otherwise. When I set up a tray, especially if I am using a, a firing mode like Cannon Scatter Volley, I put that as the first thing on my tray. Then I'll usually have attack patterns after that. Uh, something we've been really getting aggressive with in the DPS circles is having firing modes separated on your your tray so you don't have like cannon scatter volley and then beam overload directly after it you give space between the firing modes and you put your main firing mode as the very first thing on your tray are there any good command bridge officer powers for do not really not nothing that's going to be a massive boost this is this should be interesting because I, I am not the the best Psy player. I will tell you that right now. Psy stuff is not something I generally focus on in this game. But we'll see how it goes. It's already there. I'll set up all the SIA stuff on my uh, on one of my hotkeys here. Yeah, suppression barrage can work, but if you're not if you don't need the survivability boost, it's not going to be anything, you know, massive for you. Just going through and getting everything to slot here. Never put subspace vortex on a spam bar. That thing, it sort of got like a, a toggle on it. So putting it on spam bar can 
Like you, you can hit it again to to like teleport into it. Seventeen one, how's it going, man? Um, so usually when it comes to the emergency power stuff, um, you're gonna be hitting emergency powered engines ahead, like in the the prep phase timer, if you're wanting to to make sure you're you're gonna have that at the correct points throughout a run. So usually for like infected, you'll see most DPS players they'll hit emergency powered engines when the timer goes to about 17 ish seconds before the run and then by that point you'll don't usually have hit emergency powered weapons on your spam bar before you hit the first target don't like randomly teleporting across the map unexpectedly no i'm not a fan of that um let's see here Probably change a couple of these security officers, so I guess I can leave the, the 24 on. Or the 23 needs to change, though. Let's go for 26. This is good enough. Okay, let's see how terrible this does in a... Uh, in a patrol. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna load into the patrol and it's gonna have like completely bricked my entire loadout. Why can't I launch my hangar pets? Now they launch? That was weird. That was, that was definitely different. Now I can put them on auto fire. You have entered an area control. You yeah, that was like weird. there it's not the highest damage our goal I've ever done but I mean it's working Slowish, yeah. Definitely not the path this we do what we want. We want. I mean, it's fun. Like, it's really immersive with those fighters, though. I'll, I'll give it that. Replicators on those fighters, yeah, for sure. I'm taking you with me. Oh. 
The Hydra console just really slams in the right environment. I mean, it definitely wasn't the fastest. I, a three minute Argal is uh, a, bit, a bit painfully slow, but. Thank you for your assistance and welcome to this section. I have the pet set to attack. Rescue and search gets a bit, it's not really difficult. It, it, it's just a matter of, can you sit in the right spot and not get hit by the, uh, the thingies? So like I, I can go into a rescue and search. Normally we do it on advanced when we're like leveling someone up and it's just sit there. You just sit in the one spot and just keep them, like you just farm them as soon as they come out of the, uh, or the, as soon as they warp into the map, basically. Well, here's the slow load times. Yeah, Voyager, we'll do some Borg TFOs here in a few. Yeah, the viral impulse first definitely uh definitely sucks. I realized I probably didn't explain the build uh thoroughly enough, and I do apologize if I didn't explain it as well as I normally do these builds. See those fleet the fleet maps loading fast. This is the trade-off right here. Veracas gone. Yeah, enemies that have sub nuke are painful. Absolutely. Good to see you. Because if you do the safe login, it sometimes will just push you out of the map. Yeah, well, right now I'm in advance. The Argala I did on Elite, but for Rescue and Search, I always do it on um, advanced difficulty. Thank you. That's all you ever need to do Rescue and Search on. Like, you can level up any ship to basically, if you have a good build on it and good DPS, you can level up a ship to, like, tier 6 in one go through a Rescue and Search advanced. That's one less rift to worry about. Let's regroup with Kumarkin. Bad news, I'm afraid. Klingons are approaching our position. I mean, it's not advanced, it, you know, it's farming through these guys pretty well. Oh, that's too close. Damn it. Thought I was far enough away.
Hey Martin, how's it going, man? Yeah, absolutely. The Hydra console in this type of environment especially is just brutal. My weapons just don't want to fire sometimes. I wonder, I'll have to check after this. See if my auto fire settings are right on this character. There is like auto loot settings, right? I just, I never, I, I look at how much XP I gained there. 118 K. Like I think that was that's enough to level up any ship right there. How many anomalies do I have? Um, so I've got Ravwell on, um, timeline collapse, chronometric, uh, very cold in space, subspace vortex, and then interactive beam repulsors. 40 minutes to loot some salvage. Yeah, I and what's really what really sucks here is I don't have a keybind currently to to pick up loot. So I need to what I need to go and do is just like rebind that real quick. So keybinds there is interact. I do like okay. Yeah, okay. Under 1.9 for the Delax? Yeah, the Delax has been really, really dropping. I'm spamming it. I'm trying to get all this, this loot. Need auto hockey for that? Yeah. This is generally why I just don't bother with the picking up loot. 502. Yeah, I, I had a 502 way back in the day. That was a great feature of that mouse. I bet my inventory's full. Collect all button, please. Yeah. What I need is more inventory spots on this character. Yeah, and I probably I probably have auto loot turned off for some unknown reason. I keep spamming it. I'm not gonna even sell this stuff for EC for the most part. It's literally just the, the gear is gonna be salvage. So, it is salvage for the next time I need to re-engineer anything. Let's see. I am going to get rid of these commodities, though. Mouse click simulator, yeah. So auto fire wise, yeah, that was my issue. My auto fire was not set up right on this character, so my weapons weren't constantly firing. And where is the auto loot crap? I I have not bothered with that stuff in ages. What tab is that under? Enable auto loot on. There we go. 
Thank you. Okay. I mean, overall, like so far with the build, I, I, I'm, I'm satisfied with it. It's, it's basically just a CSV build with SIA uh, spore infused anomalies is like a secondary focus to take advantage of all the side room it has. Um, let's do, I want to see how the pets do in like a Borg TFO. Um, so what I'm going to do ISC, I mean, do we have a, does anyone want to tank an IS, ISC? Ranger, why can't I invite you? Ranger, you're already in a TFO group. Yeah. Um, for auto fire, I usually have it as maintain auto attack. Ranger, you want a tank? Okay, man. We've got room for two more then for ISC. Put a FAW build on it. Arabit, yeah. We have a we have a tank now, so we just need one more person, one more for this infected elite. Wizard girly, he can only we'll get you on the next one because we're going to be doing a few different TFOs. A wizard, do I have you in game? Honestly, right now, my I cannot remember at handles pretty much at all. Is everyone good to go? Let me pop some plus tens here so I Get a bit of a stat boost. Okay. For this infected, I am going to turn the overlay off and uh, my webcam just so that I can also record the like the, the, the gameplay for whenever I do a video on this ship, whenever that happens. So overlay is going to be going off for this, as is the webcam. And recording is on. Okay. Uh, Wizard Girly, are you ready? Okay. Taking us in. Back to delete. Give us a date? Oh, no. No. Hey, the good thing is, when it comes to, like, uh, getting videos rendered, I now have a much, much quicker route to do that. So, hopefully, when I actually start Situation recording again, uh, the, the render time at least won't take an hour per video. Please don't go too far ahead, pets. Thank you. Uh, there's a free version of DaVinci Resolve, and it's what I'm using right now. But if you do want to buy it, it is a one-time purchase of 295 bucks, which I may do in the future. That may be like a funding goal that I do a couple months from now.
Kathy, thank you for the five dollars. That was, I mean, that was not a terrible, terrible run, to be honest. I'm going to stop the recording and webcam and overlay. Yeah, so I was using the, uh, I had bought Sony Vegas in a Humble Bundle a couple years back, and I was really um, stubborn about moving away from it because I paid for it a while back and it was what I was familiar with. But after I did my most recent news video, I spent a little bit of time to do the same video in DaVinci Resolve. In Vegas, it took an hour to render. In DaVinci Resolve, it took five minutes. Yeah, so the free version of Resolve is pretty good, but at, at some point I'll probably do like a funding goal on the channel to be like, I'm going to gonna try to get the uh, the paid version. Demonstrates why I think EPG builds are lacking in the modern era. Yeah, the, the cooldown on them with how the, the pace of content is definitely leaves a lot to be desired. Yeah, that was a fun run. Thank you everyone for joining. Um, so let me take a look at the parse and let me pull that up on screen here. So that Hydra console. Yeah, I've got the numbers here. Uh, Wizard Girly, I have you at 456. And if I upload that, that is a record for you. Congrats. So if you want, if you have SCM, you can go pull that record off the table if you want to look at that closer too. Yes, I appreciate it, Ranger. Um, I did mess up and hit my e bind for, and I hit tractor beam repulsors at the start um, during prep phase. That is because I put that stuff on my nine tray, which is usually where my alpha would go with these type of do builds. So just. Different tray setup from usual. Um, the cannons did well still, even with this being, you know, a 3-3. They still did quite well. The Hydra console did 43k DPS. It did as much damage as one of my dual heavy cannons, basically. The, the science stuff, that all added up quite well. Pet-wise... Look at that pet damage there. 207.6k from those Valkyrie fighters. That was really good for the pets. And that was because of the amount of debuff in the run. The, the pets scale up very well with superior area denial. Uh, What is the strongest species in the game? Rom alien tack. Chell, that is the correct answer. So to boost the hangar pets, I was running the console off of the Hydra, the harmonic yield distribution via radial aperture. What a name right there. Um, the Swarmer Matrix uh, console. Both of those have passives for pets on them. The trait wise, I did have strike group command authority on, and I also had sad on. And then for personal traits, I was running wing commander, which just helps the, the pets scale up to their max rank faster. Um, the Valkyries, when I tested them last year, ended up being. What was it, like 15% behind, 10, 15% behind the Toe Douche? Well, there, there is a little bit of a loss compared to the Toe Douche, but to me, the Valkyries just look amazing. Uh, Voyager, I do not know. Yeah, Stu, I, I agree. That, that console... That, that really long name on the Hydra console is just because it's the Hydra. Its acronym is Hydra. Let's 
So yeah, it was a combo of um, Swarmer Matrix, which is a cheap console that you can get off the exchange. That is a buff for your pets. Then the Hydra console, which is also a buff for your pets. Then trait wise, the trait from the Hydra Strike Group Command Authority, which gives your pets a damage boost. And then Superior Area Denial, which is pretty much a requirement with most of these fighter squadron pets, especially the ones that have pulse cannons, if you want to get as much damage out of them as possible. Low bro, honestly, I don't remember. Oh, you know, I completely for you know, Darth on, on that topic. There is a console that I completely forgot to put on this build to boost pets. The draw console. I forgot to put the draw console on, which would have given my pets a bit of a crit boost. Damn, I could have gotten a bit more out of those pets. Yeah, because the the crit chance on them was only 17%, and I'm assuming that's because someone else on the team had the draw console on. Voyager, you want me to check your parse? Look at pets. Your Valkyries did 26k. Yeah, the, the pulse cannons still get quite a bit of a buff from from Sad. I think they went through and changed it a little bit, but it still performs very, very well. What do you want me to look for? Running the three-piece competitive set? Oof. A bit dated there, Ranger. Yeah, you had 73k from pets, and I'm guessing you you had like a yeah, it's saying a bunch of different things on here. So you called in a uh, reinforcement ability of uh, some sort of forget which one you called in. Yeah. Um, I'll be, I don't have that ship unlocked yet. I, I have the ship, but I didn't go through and level it. So I don't have access to it on my non jump at our characters. Right now. Darth on, I do have scramble fighters on this character. I just didn't have it slotted because if I slot that I have to take away from other things that are giving me a significant boost on the build. Uh, scramble fighters. Where is it? I've got a ton of traits on this character. Yeah, so scramble fighters is a 25%. I think this is a cat one buff for your pets. But it's not, it doesn't say bonus on it, so it should just be cat one. Yeah, so I don't have that Gemidar uh, ship unlocked. So what I was using instead was the Quajon Assault Craft. And this gives me... So that, that counts as rank 2. So you're saying that counts as rank 3. Gotcha. Yeah, I'll have to get that unlocked then for this build. But I mean, I'm impressed with the results. I mean... You know, it's not not like meta meta numbers, but for a three three science ship with a bit of a carrier focus, you know, in the end, what was that from my from my pets? What was my total damage from the pets there? About So just under a third of my damage basically came from the pets. Gotcha. 
yeah, there's definitely some improvements that could be done to this to try and squeeze a bit more out of the pets. A big one that I can make right away here is to put that Jirok console on. So in this instance, I am going to drop the Trilithium console. Um, and then I'm going to put the sensor suspension burst on, which is from the Jirok Alliance carrier, because this has a Licky on it that will give your pets a crit chance boost for 20 seconds. Yeah, Stu. I agree. The, the issue really just comes down to is trait slots, really. And he, there's only some pets that you can make do, you know, a really good amount of damage. Like, it's really, it's Todouge and a couple of the other fighter squadrons that are worth looking at. The, the support carrier console is, is nice, but I don't... I don't think I need it on this build. The pets will rank up really fast with me having Wing Commander on. Okay, I'm going to do another TFO. Um, I, I know we had a couple others wanting to join in, so let me scroll back up. Who, who else wants to join? Let's do a uh, Crystalline. Icky Ranger. Gotcha. What's the other console in my engineering slot? Um, so this is the Quajon Assault Craft. This is unlocked from the Crossfield Refit, the same ship that has universal designs. I don't have room for UD on my build currently, so I I don't have Immolating Phaser Lance on, and this Quajon Assault Craft, it stays out, and it, it uh, counts as a higher pet for or a tier two pet for the Hydra trait. Eventually I'll replace it with the one off the gem carrier. Okay, who wants to join for the next TFO here? In fact, let's all leave this TFO group. Let's just do a Crystalline Catastrophe Advanced Public Queue. I'm just, I'm just doing Public Queue of Crystalline Catastrophe. So if you want in, just join the public queue. This is not part of the random system, so this will give us a chance to get a few people in here. The issue with independent wingmate is that when it's working as intended, it's only supposed to boost one pet from one, one hangar bay. So to me, I, I don't think independent wingmate is really worth it on a two bay ship. That crystalline has popped. Yeah, it was bugged for a while and it may still be bugged. So in some cases, if both hangar bays launch their first pet at the same time, you may have both, both of those first pets get that. And then there were some cases where people had it where when they did that, they neither would get the buff. It was a bit buggy for sure. Is my monitor curved? Um, this monitor is that uh, my main monitor is the M28U. It's a flat 20 inch, 28 inch uh, 4K monitor. My left monitor here is is an ultra wide, a curved 34 inch, and then I have another monitor. That's not plugged in right now. That is a flat 27 inch 1440p monitor. I really want to get a monitor arm to put that up above my other monitors. Because that's a really nice monitor. The 
Let's see how this goes. Oh, I realize. I just realized you're memeing about the ship, aren't you, Chell? Run away. did not recall the pets. I mean, this is going to be over before... Like, the only reason this queue doesn't end in, like, five seconds is because they put this lockout on it, or the immunity phases. Yeah, I did not get much action in there. I know. I gotta live up to my name. Also, look at that lag right there. A little jump backwards. Darth on remember it's, it's literally in the name of the channel it says casual John I'm glad to see the Dilex going down as far as it has but it, it wasn't just me there there were other people involved behind the scenes that helped get that data and all that um so I appreciate everyone who wishes to remain anonymous for the uh, providing me with the initial information that I then based all of my research on. Uh, what is this game? Is it new? Yeah, it's absolutely. Steven, how's it going? How is the Dilex going right now? Under 1.9. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that the Dilax backlog goes under, under five, like it just disappears by the end of the month. That, that'd be great. How am I liking the monitor? So in Crystalline, that was a very, very difficult place to actually test it. Um, but in the Infected I did, it did pretty well. You beat me. You of you beat me. Yeah, it's that this build, I as soon as I got in, you guys already had it basically dead. Like, it was already on the first immunity phase, so. I was too slow in this boat. HSE? Anyone want to tank an HSE? I can, I can start that lobby up. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed, Stuka. I so I I have basically ever since I did that video. Oh. R Ranger, we got a tank. Garthon's gonna bring in wrong window. We ha we have a dedicated tank now. Thank you. Okay, wizard. Okay, that's full for this one then. But yeah, ever since I did the video going over how to turn off engine trails, I have basically just left the, the engine trails off. Especially with the hangar pets, it generally it, it's it's a bit better. Goodbye. Get okay, everyone good to go. A ranger is not ready. 
what is DPS? Um, I don't know. Everyone else ready? At two hours, three hours. Yeah, that's true. Hey, here we go. And I guess the trails, they also are a very good indication of lag because you'll be flying forward and then all of a sudden you'll see like there's just a, a jag over to the side or something and it, it's like a Z line briefly. That, that's a good in, good way to track lag. Yeah. Yeah, Steven, I'm I'm liking it so far. I lost visibility on targets, so I don't even know if my console is hitting them. I hate these spawns so much in this game. say i think these spawns one of the bigger issues this game has right now i mean out outside of the dillax and all that like it is such a vibe kill to just have the uh everything disappear in front of you yeah it wasn't the best for me iss despawning Yeah, I'm using the Hydra trait. Yeah, it was not the most impressive set of numbers there. Ponyboy and Joseph, thank you for the subs. Three cycles of no Boimler proc. Yeah, that was not, not the best run for me, for sure. Yeah, I think the Hydra console, it actually did not hit, did it? It looks to me like it didn't get many hits off, and it was... I hit it in a very good group of targets, but I think it was just the everything despawned in front of me. Yeah. I mean, 360-ish three, three isn't terrible, but it's also not... Not super amazing. Imagine a stow without misfires and working servers. I know, man. I know. And it really it's a question of is it is it the hardware? Is it the networking hardware? Or is it just the you know, the, the net code, the net code of the game, just, or just the code in general for the game, not being able to handle all this. It is both most likely. 
It's option C, all of the above. Your DPS tank to their ranger, is that what you're saying? Nah, there was no deaths. You did good, Darthon. Nice. Admiral X was running a tank also, and it was an EPG tank compiler, and they did 773k with it. So we had multiple tanks in that run. That explains why I did not feel much heat. Let's look, Ranger. Oh yeah, I can see your damage just fell off right there, right away. The Valkyrie pets are pretty good. If you're looking, if you have superior area denial, which is the starship trade off of the Mirror Strike Wing Escort, which you can get as part of the 12th bundle if you want it unlocked account wide. If you have this trait, then the Valkyrie fighter squadrons can actually do quite well. The rare Todouge fighter squadrons that you can buy from a vendor with SAD will do slightly better. But if you're looking for something that is Federation, then I, I'm pretty sure these Valkyries are pretty much as good as you're going to get. Yeah, I agree, Stuka. Okay, let's do a... Um, what do we want to do here? Let's do a Cure Elite. Cure Elite. Tell you what, I'm going to leave this. We're going to do this as a public queue. I'm going to do a Cure Found Elite. Public queue. And it instantly popped, okay. Almost no one ever queues for the elite, so we don't have to worry too much about, um, like the random system filling it. TFO is loading. Yeah, torp boats and HSE can be a bit rough. Yeah, yeah, Steven, I'm doing it as like a do size setup and it does. So I've got a bunch of SIA procs on. Um, I'm running it with dual heavy cannons, of course, with cannon scatter volley. Oh, I know Ranger wants to go to the right one. Make sure to let the or don't let them get to the uh the center. Do what you can to try and stop them. Kang's taking some heat. We got to help the middle.
I did not mean to grab all that. Okay. Yeah, this one, if the, the Kang dies, it'll fail. Yeah, but they're, the issue is of what they're saying with it is that DF is designed to support things, so... You will be Borg. You're, you're using it to support your pets, is their logic. Okay, got through that. We seem to have had someone crash, though, on... Um, the the thing with cannons and the, the like parking to, to shoot the, there is just that it's just really effective like csv when you have everything grouped up in front of you is just gonna slam a csv way too op please nerf Uh, let's take a look at the parse here. So I had 422. And the Hydra console did pretty well here. 33k DPS, 5 million damage. I think I got a couple activations out of it. The Valkyries here were about... What is that? Like a seventh of my DPS. So you just, you big thing with carriers is the pets aren't good enough. Even the best pets you can get just aren't good enough to be the only source of damage on your build. And that's a trap that a lot of players fall into is they they get this mindset of they want to just boost their pets. And that's the only thing they do with their build. But when you do that, you end up crippling your, your build because the pets, even under their best, just aren't good enough. My pets are sealing your CF? Yeah. Yeah, they do that. Indeed, Martin. So what weapons and skills do the Valks have? They have pulse cannons and photon torpedoes, and the torpedoes on them get high yield three or high yield and spread. And what rank of spread and high yield they get will depend entirely on which quality of the pets you have. Yeah, you have to do a hybrid build if you're trying to, like, play a carrier. You can't full invest into the pets. You will fail doing that. In the current state of the game. Yeah. Uh, Ranger, I, I really enjoy the immersive visuals that the Valkyrie pets have. So I'm sorry, but I, I need to run them for the immersion. And yeah, um, Admiral X, definitely. I ran a uh, Cheval Torp build as a side nuker in HSE for, for quite a while, and it was working very well. But as main DPS, they can be a bit rough. Okay. I Before we do the next thing, I need to go and get my an Endeavor done here. Yeah. The issue then, Steven, is just honestly, like, it's trait slots. Like, in order to get the pets to to be reasonably good, um, you have to, you know, slot how many different traits, and you just don't have room. I do believe supercharged weapons still has an impact on pets. I don't think they ever fix that. I could be wrong, but yeah.
Yeah, just pay 150 for those pets. Um, so I... Oh, yeah. Shush. I gotcha. Yeah, level 70 to increase the difficulty again would be really nice. I have a really, really challenging endeavor here, and that is to harvest materials in space. Yeah, give carriers an extra trade slot. This is engaging, engaging gameplay right here. Doing these uh, little particle scan things. Yeah, the quickest way I do it is I just go into Japori. I don't engage at all with the enemies. And I just, as soon as I get the first three, I leave the map and then go back in. It's annoying. It certainly is one of the more annoying endeavors these to guys do. Picked the wrong system. Also, pro tip for any of you that are new to the, to the game, when you do encounter this this R&D scanning crap in most of these little mini games, just use your arrow keys. It's, it's so much easier. Yeah, it's an easier one to do. It's just, it, it's time. There we go. That one's done. Yeah. Yeah, if they follow through on that, and if they actually make it so your pets start to scale off of some of your, like, accuracy and crit stats, that would be amazing. As I asked before, what TFO now? Well, we gotta go to Kidmer, right? But let's do... Do we want to do Kidmer... No, let's do Kidmer Elite. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's go Kidmer Elite, I believe. We just gotta... Just remember... What, we got to split up, so a couple of us go to one side, a couple to the other. Don't let anything get to the center. If any of those Borg probes or whatever get to the center, we fail. Yeah, the reinforcement squadrons aren't good, but the concept behind buffing them is good. Also, the briefing phase on this one is so brutal. I will go over to the right side. Um, but like I said, just try to, to not let anything get to the center. Because if, if the Borg probes get to the center and go through that gateway, we fail. Why did I just do a pug, Kid of Elite? Ah, uh, because it's quicker than me setting one up. From this time forward, your culture will adapt to service ours. Ah, uh, construction shuttles do hydro damage? I don't know. That's a good question, though.
not have much survivability on this build. Over my gravel there. I really need to change these keybinds around. Thaleron kill me to see how little damage it does. We got through it. Good job, team. Yeah, the pack cube is running. We did it. Good job, everyone. The only thing that sucks with Renatra is that all of the stuff that is supposed to keep her, you know, out of cloak doesn't actually work. job team the is I think the, the hydra trait the and console are both really good um the console is very situational you have to be hitting it at the right time you can't spam bar it if you try to spam bar the hydra console you're just not going to get what you want from it That you cannot decloak Denatra is meant to reflect the scimitar's perfect cloak. Gotcha. That yeah, makes sense.
I need more batteries. I apparently need more of those things first. Skittle boat? No, this is this is full phasers. Extreme serious. I think I used to use the targeting lock ones a bit, Jay, but I think I just ended up just sticking with the energy amplifiers for PvE. I have a Skittle boat on this character. Um, it's my Gemidar bug ship. Um, and that's what I usually use for endeavors. I mean, there's nothing wrong with Skittle boats if you know what you're doing. The issue is that when you look at like the the new players that are put together a Skittle boat and they don't have the gear or the, the right equipment to really make it very effective. That's your target. That makes sense. The Sirius, I will say Voyager, the Sirius is probably going to be a little bit boring. Like it's, I'll probably set it up as a tank, but like, it's not going to be anything special. It's just a really solid, solid, like a uh, budget tank platform or like it works for Torps too. But if you get the bundle, you just use the sticks for either role. Imagine if the Sirius were attack carrier. Yeah, that could have been interesting. Let's do another crystalline catastrophe. And then I think that'll wrap up today. I mean, I, the, the build's clearly like it, it works, you know, it, it's, it's going through most of the content people do quite well. Um, so I'll probably talk about this more whenever I get around to doing a review of the ship. I haven't tested the console or the trade off of it yet. Uh, but to be honest, neither of them were really that impressive looking to me. Yeah, the fixed lieutenant engineer on the Sirius really just, it hurts it. Yeah, I got to get that Jamadar carrier, a console on this character. So if you guys want to join, it'll be the Crystalline Catastrophe Advanced Public Queue. And this will be the last uh, TFO I do today. Yeah, I be I feel like this build's pretty solid. Like if you have the the Valkyrie fighter squadrons and you have Sad and you have the the Hydra trait, like the, these pets do quite well. But uh, you just can't have pets being your main damage on a carrier. You you can't build like that. It won't be an effective build. I like it when the game lags like this and you get to move a little bit at the start. That's always fun. Pets are going to die.
Did I see what? What, what Voyager? Oh yeah. Yeah, where my ship moved a little bit? Yeah, I saw that. Oh yeah, yeah. it does that sometimes. Back in the day, there used to be a bug where some people would load into ground maps as their ship and in, into space maps as their character. Yeah, that used to actually be a, uh, a bug. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, the monitor, I know this, this stream wasn't the most organized in terms of probably following the exact build I was doing, um, but... I'll probably talk about this a bit more in the uh, the coming weeks, and I mean, I'm pretty happy with the build. And it's not going to set DPS records, but I mean, it was a carrier, so that, that was a given right off the bat. There are no bugs in STO. Those are features. Indeed. Um... So I think everything here, so I think I went with the, basically the monitor, the non-Terran version, and then I replaced the saucer with the Sutherland. Yeah, God of Rage, you can still do stuff like that quite often. Like just, I think they fixed a lot of the really blatant spots, um, especially on ESD. But if you are like right near the edge of a map and you log out and back in, it'll sometimes push you on the to the outside of the map. I do like these nacelles here, like where it's got this these like red red groups in there. I like the the take that they've had with those on these these recent ships in the thirteenth bundle compared to some of the older. Yeah, I can post the, the build on the Discord um, right now, if you guys want. It, it'll be, the, like, pictures of it, and then I'll probably do, like, a better breakdown of it here in the, uh, the near future. Best ship from the 13th bundle is the Hydra. If you could only get one ship from the 13th bundle, it's the Hydra. Like, it, it's just a really good ship. Please post the build. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I had an area for my builds and then I just scrapped it a while back. I'm going to put this under the stow category. I'm just going to make a new channel. Sensors. Give me a second here. So what I'll do is I'll just have a channel here on my Discord where you guys can, can view it and you can make like a thread of it if you want. Um, but I'll be the only one that has permissions to actually post in it. But then if you want to ask questions, you can just right click, make a thread about it. So let's get the turn monitor. This is a hybrid Usai at setup. We go into a system space here. If you're in sector space, um, some of your stats won't show.
Let me get some pictures here. I don't like that the snipping tool in Windows um, 11, it doesn't automatically go up as like the top screen once you take a picture. Bit annoying. So if you have any questions about the traits or stuff like that too, uh, just ask and I'll fill them in on the Discord if you need to like a text right up. And DOFs. A lot of this stuff too is you could basically swap it out for whatever the hell you want, to, to be honest. Like the weapons I have on this, outside of the Terran, you'd keep the Terran, but basically just use whatever cannons and turrets you want. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so Discord has this terrible new picture setup if you post a thing that has multiple pictures in it. Um, but there's the Terran monitor build. Let me know if you guys can see that. Let me make sure. So can't mention everyone. Read message history. The Hydra and Eagle. Um, yeah, I, I can, can get that done later. Yeah, the Hydra is definitely the crowd favorite. Yeah, the Hydra or the, the Eagle is a very good ship. It's just a different play style. I think the Hydra is the most universally friendly out of all of the uh the ships in the bundle okay that's gonna be it though for today if you guys have any questions about the build um just right click or i'll start the thread now build that if you guys want to ask any questions just go into that thread right under the picture just hit that one message and then you can ask in there and in the future, if you want to just ask a question about the build, you can just ask me or just right click on it and make a thread. Yeah, port builds definitely don't have mass appeal. Yes, thank you to everyone that stopped by. One last thing that I want to mention, especially with Martin being here, there is still a little bit of time left to enter the giveaway on the builds discord just under a week. Um, for the Liberated Borg Juggernaut that was very generously donated by Martin. So, you do have six days to get in there and enter that giveaway. Again, um, links to that Discord and my Discord are going to be in the description down below. And one thing to note on the Builds Discord, not my personal Discord, there is a requirement that if you are drawn as the winner, you have to claim within 48 hours or it will be redrawn. And you need to have said something in the Discord, even just saying hi in the general chat by the time of the drawing in order to qualify. Yeah. Okay. That's going to be it for today. Thank you again to all channel members and viewers for the continued support. There will be a video out tomorrow, so stay tuned. I don't know what the video is going to be, but I'm going to go work on it here in the next couple hours. Thank you all for stopping by and see you guys next time.